once again, we're back at Madison Square Garden, set for the National Anthem. We'll take a look at the Ranger goaltender, first of all, for tonight's game. And in the net for the Rangers, after sitting out two games, Doug Sotot with a 3.58 goals against average, winning percentage of 15, 12, and six ties. The goaltender tonight for Winnipeg was the guy who stopped the Rangers almost cold in Winnipeg. Undoubtedly, he beat the Rangers by himself in Winnipeg. Marcus Matson, 3.85. But to be fair, Jim, the Rangers did not help their cause. And the referee for tonight's game, a rookie referee, did quite a job for the game the Rangers played in Los Angeles, Kerry Fraser. Kevin Collins is one of the linesmen, and the outcast, Ray Scappanella, is the other one. Wonder who he goes out with after the game. A couple of Irishmen and Ray getting close to March 17th, too, isn't it? Actually, of course, Marcus Matching, we're talking about how good he was against the Rangers. Bill is right. The Rangers did not help their cause at all by playing it a little bit too cool with the feeling we thought that they could win the game whenever they wanted to, and they did not. As the team statistics, the goal scored by the Rangers, 207, is against 169. And look at the goals against. That's the killer. Penalty killing. Rangers are up on that. Power play just a little bit up because they're going well. Shorthanded goals, they haven't got as many. Penalty minutes, a lot more. Willie Lindstrom, number 20, is starting at right wing, as you see, for the Winnipeg Jets. Anders Steen, number 17, is the center, and Norman DuPont is on the left wing, and he was very tough against the Rangers. And Ron Wilson was on that line out in Winnipeg. He's out injured, but that line had five goals that night. Back line will have Barry Law, number four, on the right side. And Don Spring, number 27. Rangers are starting off deep in Winnipeg's end. Trying to get the puck in, keep it inside the blue line. A heavy check by Dave Maloney. It popped back to center. There's the all-star for the Rangers. Number 17, Eddie Johnstone. Dave across to Ron Greshner and ahead. Don Maloney on side for Allison and just beyond his reach. The Rangers have to continue the hitting to beat this hockey club. Don't skate with Winnipeg. Intercepted by the Rangers. Don Maloney tries to force the boards and cannot. Ram right back by Gresham, the swapping size there with Dave for a second. Here comes Maloney. Chopped in by Allison on Maloney pass. Johnstone can't get there in time. Rangers are trying to get a change and the puck goes out of play. New York Rangers playing against Winnipeg in Winnipeg did not use their body. They had started off using it. This program is authorized by Madison Square Garden Productions Incorporated solely for the entertainment of our audience. Any publication rebroadcast for other use of the pictures, descriptions, and accounts of this event, including the imposition of a charge for viewing the program without the express written consent of Madison Square Garden Productions Incorporated is prohibited. The Rangers at home, they would like to go to the 500 mark tonight. Ron Duguay, the center for the Rangers. Nick Petillo is on his left side there on the faceoff. The Rangers win the draw. Davy Silk eludes a check and still has the puck. He's got Petillo and Duguay in front. It went behind Duguay, who didn't see it coming. Duguay at the goal line. Centering pass. Knocked aside. Rangers might have a swipe at it here. Shot toward the net. Deflected wide left side. Number 44. Going out to the puck on the far side is Dave Babbage. Rangers have it again. Rangers controlling the play. Save. Rebound comes wide. Jets try to clear. Beck kept it in with Duguay's help, and Dave Silk has the puck. Good turn for this line that kept the puck inside Winnipeg's end. This is Dave Silk. Petillo's in front with Duguay. Shot blocked, and the Jets will come out for the first time. First time they've crossed center ice. Barry Beck takes his man in. Free puck in front. Shot is blocked by Vadney. Good hit by Beck. And Long couldn't contain it. Jim, that was a good follow-up by Lukovic. He's just about the best they have, along with Dave Christian. Rangers on a fast change. Anders Hedberg. Hedberg surrounded, goes in, and lost the puck. Back to center zone. There's Tom Laidlaw. We'll pick up Winnipeg as we go for you. Kostopoulos is back in the Ranger lineup, coming off the injured list tonight. Hedberg goes in with a pass in front. Laidlaw's! And missed the net. He might have got a piece. He did get a piece, Jim. And a work uh, play stoppage behind the net. Work stoppage is a strike. And the funny part of it is Marcus Matson made the wrong move. He gave him the whole right-hand side of the net. But he just fortunately got a stick up. There's Laidlaw. Watch Matson give him the whole right-hand side of the net. Good stop. Good stop with that right hand. Coming 
across the line. Now 18 is bonus. Shot. Save. Rebound in front. Save. Rebound. Save. It's in. There was a whistle, and I'm not sure the goal is going to count. I think it is, Jim. There was no sign that he called it off. It will count. It's a goal for Winnipeg on their first shot on net. There's the breakout from the coming into the offensive zone. They shot by Willie Lindstrom. The puck comes out. And number 19, Chris Mannery. And Jim, he, Chris Mannery got 99. It could very well be 99, Rick Dudley. Let's take another look at him. I got a bad angle coming in, Bill. Former player with Buffalo. And yeah, we're back to live play. We'll pick it up in the scoring. It was on the third rebound shot out in front. Greshner has the puck. In front, deflected wide. The Winnipeg ball is put by number 99, is Dudley Rick Gold. Dudley. On an assist for number 18, Rick Bonus. There's a shot on goal, and Soltart will hold. At any rate, they brought up Chris Mannery for this game, and last night at the bomb team, down at Tulsa, yeah. Down at Tulsa, Chris Mannery got three goals. They thought it was worth another shot with the big club Winnipeg. Chris, as you'll watch, is just at the bottom of your screen here on this face-off. Look at it from behind the defenseman on the right point, right side. Barry Leg, number six. The puck goes out in front, but Dave Maloney is there and finds a wing, centering pass, and stops short. Jets had the first goal of the game. They lead 1-0. Puck being brought down by Pete Sullivan. And back pass by Dean Talibas, who took it away from Peter Sullivan. Dave Maloney again. Solid checking on the boards on the far side. That's Don Spring, 27. Gets to his right wing. Kept in play by Dave Maloney again. Ron Dugay, centering pass, knocked aside. Dugay comes back. Greshner saw pass on the right side. Rangers are offside going in. 16-29 to go. Period number one. Score is 1-0 Winnipeg. This is New York Rangers hockey. Madison Square Garden, the faceoff will be in center zone as you look at Phil Esposito. Rangers have the puck. This is Beck. Barry sends one in. Comes up on Johnstone's side. He's got Don Maloney in a slot. Allison tries to find him. Now Maloney and Allison both behind the net. Maloney and Johnstone in front. Allison doing the corner work. Allison has a choice. He goes in and lost the puck. It's in front of save. Jim, the old star of the Rangers had a lot to do with that shot, but Allison kept the puck in the zone, making a good play with Don Maloney behind the net. We have a tie hockey game. Now watch Allison. He fakes the shot, tries to hold it. It's taken away from him, but he keeps mucking. Allison's got the puck now. Then Jenny Johnstone and Don Maloney is the one that puts it in the net. Allison and Don Maloney. Eddie Johnston will get an assist along with Allison. That line continues to play extremely well. 3.50 the time of the goal. Don Maloney scores. Johnstone and Allison. Winnipeg Jets are threatening here in front. Shot. Save. It's under it. Number 14, Mike Allison. And number 17, Eddie Johnston. Three minutes and okay. 50 seconds. For Don Maloney, goal number 19. And three minutes and 50 seconds. The time of the goal, three minutes and 50 seconds. Allison and Johnstone on the assist. Face off to the left side of Doug Sotart. Burns, 27, facing off for the Rangers. Eddie Johnstone now has 41 points in his last 31, 34 games. Barry Long keeps the puck in play. Dave Christian working the corner. Christian, a very important cog in this team. Generally, as he goes, so goes the team. 
Shot by Petit was blocked, a bouncing puck, and Matson almost mishandled it. Rangers forechecking well. Very long. Petit was on long. Long goes down. Petit has the puck behind him. It puts it in front. No Ranger there. Kept in by Laidlaw. Tremendous forechecking by the Rangers so far. Shot toward the goal, blocked in front. Long was there again. And finally back to center zone. Rangers right back in again. Katsopoulos shot. Possible. Knocked away by Barry Long. Centering pass comes out. Petillo could not keep it in. The Rangers are finishing off their check so far tonight, Jim. Sent in by Petillo. Burns passes across. Screen shot. Silk save. And with 14.55 to go in period one, the score is tied at one. This is New York Rangers hockey. One-one, the face-off on the left side of Matson. Don Maloney is goal number 20, and he has now 11 goals in the last 11 games. That's a pretty good streak going. I think he scored in half of the games he's played this year. Round behind the net, Victor's centering pass knocked aside. Rangers continue to keep it in deep. Nilsson shot, save, rebound, Vickers. save, rebound. He's got it under him someplace. Tremendous pressure by the Rangers. Jim, unless Winnipeg changes their style, this has to be a blowout. I never saw a team so overwhelmed. There's a shot from the point by Nielsen. It's a good save good by save. Matson. Vickers, and he can't lift the puck. He was in a little too close to raise it up over the goaltender. Matson's getting no protection with the exception of Barry Long, number four, the only guy playing in front of him. None at all. The only goal Matson allowed against the Rangers in Winnipeg was a fluke shot, a little blooper over his shoulder. Free puck shot wide of Matson. This is Nilsson. Hedberg, save Matson. Rangers just continue to keep the pressure on and keep the puck in Winnipeg's end. The shots on goal are deceiving. It's Rangers 9 to 5, but the Rangers have been down here 90% of the time. Is there another 20 goal scorer for the Rangers? Free puck to the left side. Barry Leg, number six, out in front. Looking toward the right hand side. Number 18, looking for the puck is Rick Bonus. Rangers captured. Dave Maloney. Rangers to center zone. Vickers takes the headman pass. Lays it off beautifully. No penalty call. A little holding coming down. The puck back to center zone. And here come the Jets on a four on two very quickly. Pass to the right side in front. Uh, free puck goes wide. And Dave Maloney and Ron Greshner break it up. Greshner's in the corner. That's Dudley 99 with him. Bonus number 18 is in front. Two on two. Vickers going for the net. They see him. Pass across. Nilsson save. Dead on shot with Vickers on the right side of the goaltender. Matson continues to cheat the Rangers. Bonus with a good hold up there at the blue line. Had the Rangers a little bit off stride. Jim, this is the kind of a game that Greshner can excel in. Wide open. Dugay ahead. Intercepted. Set right back to center zone. Don Spring ahead. Beck comes back. Had Willie Lindstrom, number 20, right out in front. Badney up ahead. Lost. Here's Lindstrom. Shot toward the net. Knocked down in front. Badney is there. Into center zone. Talavis is trying to dig it off the boards. Dugay there to help out. Taken by the Jets. Knocked away by Badney. Talavis. Cross ice pass right side. Here comes Lindstrom again, but Beck is there first. Gary Burns scales one into the corner. Here comes Talavis. Matson's out of his hole. Talavis behind the net. Matson back in the crease area again. Beck keeps it in with a solid body check. It squirts by him. Here comes a one on one situation. Screen shot blocked nicely by Vadnay and cleared by Sotard very alertly. That puck was drifting toward the crease. Rangers have it and start coming out. Winnipeg is fork checking a little bit better, making the Rangers work to get out, blunting their drive a little bit. Dugay hit pass hit him on the skates offside. 
12-27 to go, period one, score tied at one. This is New York Rangers hockey. Face-off is controlled by the Rangers. Tommy Laidlaw. Rangers far offside if Laidlaw goes in. They really got their signals crossed on that one. Laidlaw held up, but he didn't hold up in time. It's offside. That's yes, Tom Laidlaw having an outstanding season. He's a pretty good aggressive hockey player. Long clears it to center zone. Don Maloney is there being given a work over on the board sends one in and here comes Long again. Long works with Barry Leg number six as the back line for Winnipeg. Solid hit there by Laidlaw and there's going to be a penalty. Elbow Laidlaw coming in too high with the elbow. He's gone. 12 2 to go. Period one. Score remains tied at one. This is New York Rangers hockey. Penalty is two minutes for elbowing. And number two of New York, Tom Laidlaw. He receives two minutes for elbowing. The time is seven minutes, 58 seconds. Seven. on your screen 758 the time of the elbow and penalty to Tom Laidlaw Rangers are down a man this is the first penalty of this hockey game players at center zone Winnipeg picks up the puck and starts to move back to their own end 17 percent they convert on power plays that ranks 20th in the National Hockey League Talibas almost took that away from Peter Sullivan Rangers pressing here doing a good job in deep again Winnipeg's got the extra man it should be comparatively easy to come out with an extra skater on the ice they've got them all deep though look now they break out on the right side. Duguay comes back and makes him hurry his pass, and Rangers capture as a result. Intercepted in front shot. Why? Peter Sullivan had a lot of net and went to the long side. Dave Maloney kicks his man out. Back to the point. Screen shot. Off a stick and off the glass. Heavy shot coming from the point by Dave Babbage. Into the corner. Dave Maloney trying to keep the crease area clear. Rangers staying in the box formation. Talibas reaches for it. Can't get there. Now Kasopoulos breaks out of the box and right back into it again. Into the corner. Uge intercepts. Rebound lost. Comes back for Babbitt. Shot wide of the net. Rebound to left side of the goaltender. Right out in front. Rangers capture the puck. It's Dave Maloney. Talibas gets into the act and does clear. Winnipeg doing everything but putting it in the net. They had control of the puck in the Rangers zone. Free puck on the near side. 30 seconds to go on the power play, and the Rangers have controlled things quite well up until this point. Team captain, Morris Lukowicz. Here's Babich. The Rangers have only given up six goals, Jim, in their last 54 times shorthanded. Excellent average. Eddie Johnstone helps it stay clear. Don Maloney passes it back. Time in the power play, 22 seconds. Rangers have it in control. They got a three on two here. Pass just behind Don Maloney, and with Johnstone breaking on the right side, that's an offside. That was the fall of Carol Vadney. Don Maloney had every right to expect that pass. He was all alone going down the left hand side. Anders Steen, number 17, facing off. Got Willie Lindstrom 20 on his right side. Number 28 on left side is Norman Dupont. And lifted clear. Time in the power play, four seconds. Barry Leg. Rangers have killed the power play. Laidlaw comes out of the box. This is Leg coming down the slot. Fatiu is going to meet him halfway. He passes behind Fatiu. They got a man in front by Lindstrom. It hit Lindstrom on the way in. Instead of being put down where he could get a pass, it was a high shot. Here's Lindstrom. Got a shot. Off the stick, way up into the crowd. And the face off will be in the Ranger zone to the right of Doug Sotok. When the Rangers kill penalties the way they have been doing in the past few games, you don't mind, from a Ranger standpoint, taking a few, like that one by Laidlaw. 
It was a hard penalty. It was an elbowing. It keeps the other team on its toes, and they have to stay with their heads up. Jim, the Rangers are playing a more aggressive game than they played in Winnipeg. They are using their body. They are finishing off the play. What I mean by finishing off the play is after the man, the opponent gets rid of the puck, they are still touching him, taking him out of the play so he can't get back. Greshner couldn't quite get that one under control coming down. Very seldom he loses it like that. Barry Long. Long plays the turn. Greshner leaves it to the right side, then goes left and has Dave Maloney with a pass. Burns. Bill will be talking to Gary Burns between the first and second period. Three on two. Here comes Winnipeg on a three on two. Shot by Lindstrom. Save. Rebound picked up by Burns. Dave Maloney. Freshner looking for a man to pass to. Has Patio at center zone. Good pass. Patio gets around the hip check. Lost it. He's got it again. Dave still couldn't handle behind the net. Just kept in. Say, no, just, yeah, he got a piece. Just went good, wide. Good shot by Kostopoulos. He did keep that in play above the plane of the blue line. And a frozen puck. 8.42 to go. First period score tied to one. This is New York Ranger hockey. The faceoff is in Winnipeg's end. Free puck. Laidlaw gets to it. And a giveaway goes to the Jets. Right side coming down now is bonus. Late law cross. Rangers just taking possession so easily, it seems. Up ahead, headman pass. Bickers again on the off wing. Rangers have been doing a lot of that over the last few games. Long shot, Kostopoulos blocked. Bonus. So Tart with a good clearing save. Edverse pass goes off the back of the net. He was partially blocked, and this is Kasopoulos ahead. That's what happens to Kasopoulos, Jim. When you miss so many games, you lose your timing. No offside, so Nielsen's onside at the goal line. The Jets come back. Now Vickers captures. Hedberg, good drop pass back. Beck screen shot, stopped in front. Excellent play by Hedberg. Too close for a shot. He found an open man. Rangers still fighting for possession. Tripping penalty going to go against the Jets. And it'll be Norm DuPont going for tripping Hedberg. There's DuPont, formerly Montreal Canadiens, getting an opportunity to play with this team. He plays a little bit too hard on this one. And there he's taking Hedberg out of the play. LeCure, I think it is, Bill. LeCure. Yes, 28 29. Very tough to see up here. He receives two minutes of tripping. He's from the Chicago Blackhawks chain. 12-16. Rangers bringing their power play production up 43 and 240 for an 18%. They were down as low as 15 at one time. Allison is handling the faceoff for the Rangers on the faceoff. And you see the penalty killing of the Jets. John Stone gets it, sends one across. It's going to cross the line and come back out. Badney is there. Allison, John Stone. Dave Maloney could not stay onside. The little extra pass. I don't know whether that was offside. That was very close. Faceoff will be outside of the Winnipeg zone. This Winnipeg team has scored eight shorthanded goals this year. Free puck, center zone, knocked aside. Allison back with a good save. Johnstone has trouble with Barry Lake, but gets by him. Don Maloney's going for the net left side. Johnstone's pass and stick the side for the goaltender, Matson. Don Maloney working in the sideboards and back to center. Bad Nader Beck. Again, Don goes for the net. And Matson has to hold up. Barry Beck led Don Maloney just a little too much. It's a startling change in the style of play of Don Maloney. He is now always going for the net, where he used to seldom go for the net. Jim, there's a reason for that. He was playing with the great Phil Esposito. 11 goals in his last 11 games. It's a perfect tribute to the kind of a player that he is. He will do whatever is required. Exactly right. He's sacrificing himself, he will. Vickers on the side here. Steve checked off the puck, and the Jets get it to the blue line and now move it across. Don Maloney makes them pay. Here's Vickers coming back. Time in the power play, one minute and four seconds. Greshner. 
Nielsen's in front. Greshner's got Hedberg in front. Greshner, save Matson. It must be almost on the goal line. Jim Greshner had a perfect chance to give that puck to Hedberg. Nielsen goes down the right hand side. There's he Greshner. Look at Hedberg. Perfect opportunity to give him the puck. Face off will be to the right side of Matson. Vickers gets it back. Dave Baloney will shoot. Save. Rebound is cleared by the Jets. Shots on goal are now 13 to 7. Rangers. Rangers coming down. Power play continues. 40 more seconds. This is Vickers again. Centering pass in front. Matson gets there. Brilliant save. Rebound stops. A brilliant save by Matson. And the Winnipeggers have a one on one. Lindstrom with a puck. Dave Maloney challenges him. He sends it into the corner. Less than 30 seconds to go on the power play. Matson is very, very sharp again tonight. Poked away. Nilsson takes a body check. Lost it to Lindstrom. Shot on goal. Off the glass. And the Rangers have difficulty coming out. 13 seconds in the power play. Time for one more rush if they move quickly. Dugay. Vickers onside. Vickers looks to center one. He can't do it. Trapped in the corner. Fights to get it back. Rangers have it. Hedberg across. Katsopoulos shot. Save by Matson. And the power play ends. Jim, the Rangers have to guard against being too hungry in a game like this. You've got to play this as a team, not as individuals. And I notice the Rangers in the last four or five minutes are playing as individuals. Second is over goal. It seems we said the shots were 13-7. It's now 17-7. The opportunities are there, but so is Matson. There's a man did quite a job and is still doing it. Greg Patrick. Duguay's got Petillo in a slot, number 22 there, being guarded by Dave Babbage. He wins the draw. Duguay does. Rangers can't get to the puck in time. Babbage sends it to the right side. Shot by Zraff. Locked in front and goes wide of the rebound. Almost sneaked through with a good one. Tim Tripper with a nice move coming down the right side. Little scramble in the corner. And puck comes the length of the ice. There will be no icing call. Babbage and Patiu. Patiu missed most of that check on Babbage. Now he's got the puck. Duguay's in front. Talvis shot. Stopped in front. Babbage off the sideboards. Four minutes and 57 seconds to go. First period score tied at one. Duguay goes to the dead puck. Patiu goes in, draws a crowd. Talavis works the corner. And sent back to left wing for the Jets. Rangers had tried to get a uh, change here and couldn't do it. Beck is coming back in a hurry. And an icing call. 4.36 to go. Period one score tied at one. This is New York Rangers hockey. Thirty-six seconds on the clock. Period one. Face off. Left side of the goaltender and cleared the center zone. Vadney. Beck. Shot by Nielsen and goes blocked before it goes in front. Taken by Long. Beyond Beck's reach, this should be an icing call if Beck gets back in time. Winnipeg and the Rangers are tied at one. The Rangers have dominated. Shots on goal are 17 to 7, and yet it is a tie game. And so many times in hockey you will see this. One team just dominates and dominates and dominates. Suddenly the other team pops out and zap. Matter of fact, that's how Winnipeg got their first goal. Came at 2.36. Face off left side of Marcus Matson. <laughs> Gary Burns will be Bill Chadwick's guest between the first and second periods. Greshner 
Shot wide. Burns here. Rangers swarming. Silk in front. Block. Rebound. Loose. Everybody reaching for it, but the Jets get there first. Burns coming back with that long stick. Drops it off. Pass met for Nilsson. Cleanly intercepted. It was a bad pass. Center zone. Babbage comes in. Left side is Nilsson. Nilsson. Burns. And the puck is behind the net. Penalty coming up against uh, Winnipeg. Burns doing the work behind the net for the Rangers and a power play for New York with 3.26 to go. We'll get another look at it. The puck is in control of Gary Burns as this play developed for the Rangers. Right here. Tripping was just at the top side there. Number 34 just joined the team. Mark Planteri is the man who goes to the penalty box. Sixteen thirty-four. the time of that penalty. Rangers have a second shot at a power play. They scored at three minutes and 50 seconds without a power play. Here's Beck with a shot. Score! The team is awfully happy about that one. Barry has been pressing. Barry Beck had that puck teed up perfectly. There was no doubt about what he was going to do when it popped loose. He's allowed to stride into it, actually. Takes his stride, sets himself up, and the big blast. Look at the timing of that one right off the boards. Wham! It might have hit a Ranger on the way in, but I thought it was Beck's all the way. Let's, let's find out. It is back. On assist number 17, Eddie Johnstone. And number five, Carol Badney. Time of the goal, 16 minutes, 44 seconds. There's the story, 16-44. The Rangers with a power play goal. Eddie Johnstone gets a second assist in the two goals by the Rangers so far tonight. And the Jets now trying to move the puck out. Cannot do it. Allison, soft pass, is almost knocked down in center. Don Maloney gets one to Allison again. Back to the point. Badney at the blue line. Did manage to keep it in. Free puck. Rangers have the puck. In front shot. Say score! Eddie Johnstone. Eddie Johnstone. What a job the Rangers have done. Allison with the puck. Johnstone cutting through the crease. Matson makes the stop, and Johnstone gets the rebound. Looks like Johnstone from Allison. Let's get the announcement from Carl Martin. Face off back to the Rangers line. Three goals for the Rangers, three points for Johnstone tonight. Laid long. The Ranger goal was scored by number 17, Eddie Johnstone. <laughs> On assist number 14, Mike Allison, and number five, Carol Badney. Carol Badney gets his second Goal assist. Look at the Rangers swarming in. This is Hedberg. In front, knocked away. Rangers are swarming, swarming, swarming. By Planteri. Hit by Nilsson. Free puck. And the Jets finally get it out. Drop pass. Shot toward the net. In. It's in the net. Red light went on. It went behind Sotar. He misplayed it. Just one of those things. And it's suddenly 3-2. Said just a few moments ago, this is the way these games sometimes go. Drop pass for number 10, Peter Sullivan. I think this is Tripper on the far side. Tim Tripper. A soft, easy shot. He should have been able to handle it. It's behind him. He did not have the post nailed down. We'll give it to Trimper until we hear different. In Winnipeg ball is by number 14, Tim Trimper on assists. Number 10, Tim Trimper gets it with Sullivan on the assist. Six, Barry 
And Barry Legg, number six. That makes it 3-2 in favor of the Rangers. That's exactly what you can see happening in a game like this. One team just dominates, 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 and then out they come. That was the first Winnipeg shot on goal in about eight minutes of play. And in it went. Right back towards center. Dugay comes back. Rangers are playing tonight like they're angry at somebody. Dugay. Nice move. Spring takes Talibas out. Centering pass. Dugay couldn't quite reach it. Behind Gresham, but Dave Maloney will cover. Pass caroms off skates. Dave comes back and has it again. Drops it back finally to Greshner, deep in his own end. 108 to go. Dugay is onside. Shot. Saved by Matson. Good clearing save to his right corner. Here's your time remaining, 57 seconds. Matson, as you notice, has a stick in the left hand. Shot toward the net is blocked in front. Calamus goes across. Dugay. Post. Hit the post. There's hardly a mark at the Ranger end of the ice compared to the Winnipeg end. And the Jets get it to center zone. Norman DuPont. Shot wide. Lindstrom captures as the Rangers got their signals crossed on defense. Lindstrom. Dave Maloney takes him out belatedly. Now Lindstrom is clobbered by Vadney. Oh, that was Dave Silk, not Dave Maloney. And a free puck in the corner, and finally they get it frozen there with 18 seconds in the game, first period. You know, Carol Vadney has been waiting a long time to get his 400th career assist. He got 400 and 401 tonight. The Ranger shots on goal 22 is a high for a single period this year. Shot, save, shot, post. He hit the post on the rebound with an open net. Rangers are going to have to sharpen up a little bit on defense. Suddenly they have a problem. Lukowicz has the puck. A slash by Sotart that he got away with. It is getting a little tough, and the period ends with some high temperatures. Some real high tempers. Sotart goes to the dressing room area. He's furious with himself, and he's going to meet somebody at center zone, Lukowicz. Apparently, Lukowicz gave him a tough time, and Sotart came out to take care of that himself. Let's take a look at that shot that came off the far side. Here's the play to the left side of Dougie Sotart. Now, watch this one on the post. Here. After that, look which went around behind the net, did or said something when he came out. So Todd took a slam at him. And the period ends on a, a sort of a down note with a lot of up-tempered tempers. 14 minutes and 50 seconds left of intermission time is the best way we can count you down here with the Rangers and the Winnipeg Jets exciting the crowd with a 3-2 game. First goal went to Dudley, 2 minutes and 36 seconds. You remember him from Buffalo. Then Don Maloney at 350, Barry Beck with a power play at 1644, Johnstone 1722, and the Rangers allowed a goal, and it's tight, 3-2 at the end of the first to score 3-2. Rangers, this is New York Rangers hockey. As the second period gets underway, the Rangers will be defending the goal to your left, and the Winnipeg Jets, obviously, to the right. Rangers did get a little bit soft on the defensive side in that period, and as a result, just lead by the single goal. Matchin has been very sharp, although three goals have gone in. He uh, was hit with 22 shots on goal and allowed only three to go in. Matchin was, I guess, the only reason why the Winnipeg Jets were able to beat the Rangers the other night. First period was livened from the Rangers' standpoint, of course, by the continued hot hand of Eddie Johnstone. And Barry Beck, who has been really pressing, been worried about the fact he has been scoring, although he's been getting the opportunities, came through with a power play goal. The Barry Beck goal, as a matter of fact, is a perfect example of what kind of a game this is. Watch the kind of coordination it takes to play this puck on the roll. Beck, what a drive. Goaltender was screened. You can't play Matson. If he'd moved to his right side to cover the post where we went in, his left side would have been wide open. Just, just cover so much of that net. What a blast by Beck, and you've got to feel good for him. He has really been upset about it. He's mentioned to me, Jim, that he's upset about not being able to score goals. Eddie Johnstone, two assists, and then the goal. Here it is right here. Eddie's Quick been stick on, on the spot lately, Jim. What a season he's having. I would guess, Bill, if Winnipeg is to make any major adjustments, it's going to have to be in their defensive area, not just the defense men, but the forwards coming back. They've been leaving Matson out there naked most of the night. 
they've been fortunate to get back into this hockey game, Jim. Three to two. It could have been a lot more than that. Two soft goals allowed by the Rangers. All right, ready to go now. Period number two. Rangers leading by a goal. This is the hot line again. Allison spacing off. Dom Maloney left wing. Eddie Johnstone right wing. We'll pick up Winnipeg as we go. LeCure is number 12. Kyle Lukowicz, rather number 12, the captain. Puck goes in deep right side for Matson. Dom Maloney forechecking, knocks it away. Number 13, Dave Christian, former Olympian. Going for the puck now. Very long. Rangers continue their forechecking. It's paying off. Johnstone knocks it loose. Long tied up behind, breaks loose. There's Johnstone and him out in front. Allison reaches for it and finally Winnipeg has it and they got a two on one. It's broken up by Greshner. Rangers right back in again. Rangers have all their men down now. Greshner in front for Johnstone. Save. Rebound. Miss. Rebound. Miss. And the Jets come out. No, they don't. Johnstone with a great stop. Shot. Save. Rebound. Save. Incredible. Four checking by the Rangers, especially number 17. Incredible goal to ending by Matson. Agreed. Long shot. Wide. Bouncing puck. Crowd gets on so tart a little bit for making the stop. Duguay ahead. Petiu. Petiu still has possession. Beautiful play. Beck shot. Save. And the puck goes out of play. Jim, it's good to see Barry Beck shooting that puck from the point. His problem, continuing my idea before, was the fact that he's not shooting enough. He's too unselfish a hockey player. You got to get a little more selfish, Barry. He nodded his head. Everybody listens to what you say, Chad. Don't tell Millie that. Ron Duguay on the faceoff, coming back to Carol Vadney. Vadney shot, save. Toward Vadney's side again, and again he takes it away. Fatiu, shot, save. Oh, Matz is too much. Rangers are just destroying him, but he won't let anything go through. Everybody hitting for the Rangers. And finally, poke free. Duguay coming back a little bit slowly. Knocked away by Vadney, cutting across. Good play by Vad. It's unusual to see Ron Duguay get beaten to a puck. That's why we say slowly. He is generally the first man back. A little bit leg weary there. 18-14 to go. Second period score, 3-2 Rangers. This is New York Ranger hockey. Rangers have had six shots on net in less than two minutes. 18 minutes and 14 seconds to go. Rangers had the puck after the faceoff. Lost at center zone. Dudley's got a shot. Save by Sotar. Crowd thought Dougie was a little bit soft in those two goals. That's why they're razzing him a bit now. Here comes Laidlaw. Nilsson ahead. Hedberg lost it on a poke check. Jets are coming right back. They only trail by a goal despite the one-sided contest. Laidlaw takes his man. Puck goes to Kasopoulos. Around behind the net. Vickers not quite control it. Laidlaw back. Jets are forechecking better. Jim, these Jets can skate. They're a young, young hockey club. Nilsson lost it on a check to Barry Leg. Cross ice pass and just offside if they go for it. They have to wait for him to come back. And the puck is rammed and goes out of play. There's the shots on goal. We're only two and a half minutes or two and three quarter minutes into this second period. And the Rangers with 28 shots. Seem indicative of the game. That's 3 2 score. Rangers six shots on net this period. The Jets have one. But again, as Bill points out, it is only 3 2. Barry Long comes back. That's Gary Burns, that nice, soft spoken young man talking to Bill with that crushing check in the corner. The first question I had asked him, Jim, I didn't think was going to get answered. Talibus sends one to the side of the net. Rangers have it. Burns again. Penalty coming up as Duguay is dumped in front. And it's a penalty against the Jets. 17-03 to go. Second period score. 3-2 Rangers. This is New York Rangers hockey. Penalty is two minutes for in
Spinari, 19, gives the Rangers a power play. Shot, Dave Maloney, saved by Matson. Shot, Duguay, saved by Matson. Back to Duguay side and behind him. Chris Spinari is in the penalty box for interference. Two minutes, 57 seconds. Buck comes back to set his own. Giveaway by the Rangers. They got a power play. Dave Maloney skating. David takes control to the point. Two men in front. Now nobody in the slot. Duguay. They've got uh, Talavas in front. Duguay throws it in the corner. Burns, Talavas, and Duguay here. Talavas goes to the corner. Dave Maloney from the point. Good play with Duguay in front. They can't find him. Dave Maloney's in a deep slot. Duguay is in close. Gresham will shoot. Save! Matson playing perfect positional hockey tonight. Burns in the corner. Tanavis getting away from Spring. Shot. Save! Rebound cleared. Dreschner has the puck to the point. Dave Maloney. Beyond Talavas' reach. Duguay, nobody in front. Now Greshner's cruising in. Free puck in front, knocked into the corner. Time in the power play, 35 seconds. Duguay, shot, save. Rebound, knocked down. Lukowicz around the corner, kept in by the Rangers. The puck hasn't been across the blue line yet. Duguay and Talavas. Dave Maloney and Talavas. Duguay, Talavas. And finally cleared with 15 seconds in the power play. And Jim, I don't think Matson had a save in that section. John Stone. Power play will be over in five seconds. Allison, shot, save. And the power play ends. Solid check at center zone prevented a breakout. Lindstrom's got it anyway. Knocked aside. Rangers had the puck, lost it. Dudley goes deep. 32 shots on net for the Rangers. That's 10 in this period. Barry Leg. Dudley lost it to John Stone's check and puts him into the boards. In front, Don Maloney shot, stopped in front. Allison shot, blocked. Incredible. Allison steals. He's got John Stone. Missed it on a good check coming back right out in front. The puck hooked away from him by Babbage. Rangers continue to fight for it. Don Maloney in front. Shot is wide by uh, Allison that time. Never seen anything this one-sided. And yet it's just a one-goal lead. Allison. Allison double team Lost it. Gets it back again. Lost it again. Badney's got the puck. Winnipeg can't even ice it. Beck shot. Saved by Matson. Backhand, John Stoll stopped in front, and they'll hold there. 13.46 to go. Second period score remains 3-2. Rangers, this is New York Rangers hockey. Shots on goal now, Jim, 34-10. Shot toward the net, saved by Matson. <laughs> Bill, he's been in the perfect position all night long, it seems. And he's great with that right hand, Jim. He's one of the few right-handed goaltenders in the league. When you're a right-handed goaltender, you hold the stick with your left hand and use your right hand for the catching with hand. Finally, Winnipeg gets the puck out. Anders Steen, number 17, but the Rangers captured again. Winnipeg apparently has no play whatsoever, Bill, in the offense. They just continually give the puck away in center zone. They played a far better game than this against the Rangers at Winnipeg. Puck goes in by Katsopoulos. Burns sends it behind the net. Number four is Barry Long. He's been playing hard tonight. One of the few defensemen playing well. In front. Saved by Matson again. On a backhand attempt by Burns. Rangers keep it in again. Late Law goes back to his point. Free puck. Rangers have it. Burns shot. Saved by Matson. And he will hold. And with the right hand again. The rookie, Plannery, has not heard of Nicky. Face off once again in the Winnipeg zone with 37 shots now for the Rangers. 
And don't be thinking of records, the records of shots in a game. That is NHL 83 record. by the Boston Bruins. Defeating Chicago, by the way, only three to two. 83 shots. Sam Lepresny was a goaltender for Chicago. Edberg having trouble with the puck. It is chopped away from him by Bonus. Puck is still in Winnipeg's end. Now they start out. Nilsson can't hold it to center zone. Tries to take it away again. Edberg is put down to the ice. Greshner. Hedberg. Vickers. Hedberg goes deep with the puck. Dave Maloney deep. Got Hedberg. Hedberg hit by Springs check. Vickers has the puck. Vickers. Sharp angle in front. Missed by Dave Maloney. What a setup by Vickers. Feather soft pass. Hedberg takes it. Shot. Blocked. Rebound goes wide. Three on two. Trimper in front and just missed. That should have been a goal for Dudley. Rangers come the other way. Trimper comes back and breaks it up. Oh, what a check on Vic by Vickers on Trimper. There will be no icing as Winnipeg hustles in to get there before Gresham will loaf back on it a bit. Peter Sullivan beat him to it. And the referee, the rookie referee, Kerry Fraser, says that Winnipeg caused that stoppage of play, so the puck will be faced off outside. I don't think there's been a face-off in the Rangers' zone in this second period. Literally, Bill, look at the ice in the Ranger end. You can't ice see it on clean. TV, but it's, it's just hasn't been chopped up at all in the Ranger end. Three pucks, center zone, Rangers have it. Bad day. They have had the puck. They had one shot in this period. Calibus coming in. Long reaches for him and takes it away. Back to center. Beck will chase it. Should be an icing call here. Waved off. Beck in time to get to it. Beck's feet were going, but the linesman didn't think they were going fast enough. Winnipeg coming in a little bit deep. Just one man back there now. Beck turns the corner. Past Long. Here's Long going after it, and there will be no icing. He catches up with it. 11 minutes to go. Second period. Rangers leading by a single goal. Puck is set ahead. Duguay comes back and captures and was just offside. Rangers just hadn't cleared the area. Barry Beck could not get out of the zone with 10.52 left in this second period. Rangers have had 15 shots on net before this period is half over. belongs to the Winnipeg Jets. Their goal is to your right. Katsopoulos plays it deep. Don Maloney coming in. Maloney ridden into the corner by 34. Mark Planteri. Set across. Intercept by Johnstone. He lost it again here. Drop pass by Christian. Shot from the sideboards is blocked. Dead on shot, saved by Sotart, rebounds in front, and he did just get to it. Meantime, a penalty has been called on the far side and against the Rangers. 10-21 to go, Rangers 3, Jets 2. This is New York Ranger hockey. penalty box for hooking or holding I think the referee said holding but here's the shot from about 10 feet inside the blue line uh, there you see it right in front of the net if your screen was a little larger power play for the Winnipeg Jets is their second and the puck is cleared 
Christian number 13 with the puck. Knicks are having a big game against Cleveland 52 to 38 that's in the second quarter not at the half yet right out in front pass kicked aside by Laidlaw shot saves Otard there's a good play by Laidlaw he's pulled down penalty no doubt about it and that penalty will go to John Mockel a good aggressive play by Laidlaw drawing that penalty that evens up the side the Rangers eventually he'll have a power play. Here's a play. You noticed in the penalty box he didn't think he deserved it. What do you think? The penalty is two minutes for holding to number 25. That really, that's a surprising play. It is a bad play for Winnipeg. They're only trailing by a goal, 3-2. And now they sacrifice the power play, their best shot to get back in this game. And the Rangers will have a power play in for a minute and a half. Dreschner's got the puck. Edberg. To the blue line and just did get it across. Nilsson against Babish that time. Face off will be just inside the Rangers zone. The Rangers need some goals. Those two young men, Nielsen and Hedberg. Good cover up that time by Hedberg when Greshner got in trouble. There's a pass to Nilsson. His pass across is blocked. It's in front anyway. Hedberg has it. Shot wide. This is Mars Lukowicz. Knocked away by Nielsen's forechecking. That was Hedberg's forechecking. Shot is blocked in front. Leg. Lukowicz. Up ahead for Babbage. In front. Shot. Score. They've got the power play goal. A four on four, I beg your pardon. It's a four on four situation, and it's a tie game, 3-3. There three, three. Well, you see the rookie Babich in the corner. Reshner goes in, but Babich gets the puck out in front, and it doesn't have to go far. Looked like Sotot was taken out of the play. He could not play the puck. Christian got the goal. And it's 3-3. You had a feeling this was going to happen, didn't you? You've seen it so often in a game so one-sided. You couldn't fault so taut on that one. Rangers have the puck of their own end. It is tied at three. He went a big goal, scored by number 13, Dave Christian. Dugay with the puck. On assist from number 44, Dave Babich. Number 12, Morris Lukowicz. A move by Beck. Beck just did block that shot. And Beck comes out. Beck with a rush. Puck is under him someplace. Long beats him to it. Here comes Dugay. Dugay double team. In three seconds, Ranger will have a power play. Beck keeps it in. Shot is a good pass across to Don Maloney. Out of the penalty box. Beck. He'll shoot. Stopped by Dugay in front. Don Maloney. He's got a friend in front in Silk. Back to Beck they're going to go. He'll shoot. Blocked it. A hit Dugay. He's all right. Shot. Save. Rangers on a power play. There, Carol Vadney's got a shot. Save. Rebound is loose. Penalty is over. And the center zone and across. Winnipeg continues to do a job killing off the penalty. Here comes Beck. Nice move by Barry at center zone. Gets by another man. He's got a man in front in Silk. Trying to reach him with a pass that's too high. Barry Beck. seems to be shooting more tonight, Jim. Wants to get off now. He's been on the ice a long time. Back into the Rangers' end. Tom Laidlaw comes back. The score is tied at three. Laidlaw. Silk. Laidlaw. Mike Allison coming to the corner. Dudley sends one across. Patillo is there. Knocked it down. Couldn't find the handle. Talavis does. Good play. Patillo's wrist shot. 
stop before it gets to the net. Breakaway two on one. Dudley stopped in front by Laidlaw. How that ever stayed out, I don't know. Dudley did everything right. Laidlaw with a great stop. Castillo comes down the side. Being held a little bit. And a frozen puck in the corner. 6.28 to go. Second period score is tied at three, and this is New York Ranger hockey. wearing number 99 and watch the play by Laidlaw he's got an open net and you see it went off actually the handle of the stick James Tom Laidlaw maybe the player of the game we'll see how this one goes shot off a stick away up into the crowd score is tied at three 622 to go in the period we got some out of town scores coming up the island is two to one over Pittsburgh they haven't won there since 78 Philadelphia and Vancouver, no score. Buffalo, Washington, no score. At the goal line. Rangers have it. Now Winnipeg starts out. Peter Sullivan. Greshner couldn't quite get to it. Nilsson reaches forward in the center zone. He's got the pass. In front, Hedberg stopped. They got Vickers in front. Nilsson and Hedberg. Hedberg goes to the corner. In front for Nilsson, just beyond his reach. And deep in the Ranger end. Dave Maloney. Hedberg off the sideboard. Paduge just on the ice. To Greshner coming in. He's got a shot off of the defenseman and wide. Paduge gets away from a very tough check. Takes an elbow that's not called. Back to center zone. Winnipeg screen shot. Save. Christian almost bought one. He can shoot the puck. Dave Christian, former Olympic star, making his mark with Winnipeg. We're going to show you that one again. There he comes up, comes to the blue line. He fakes the shot, continues gliding in as long as Greshner backs up. Took the shot from about 35 feet. The left hand saved by Sotok. It is 3-3 with 5.09 to go, second period. Duge gets the draw to the side boards for Vadney. Carroll into center zone. Two line pass offside. Faceoff will be inside of Winnipeg zone. 5.02 remaining in this second period. 38 shots to 14 now. Between periods two and three, I think you'll enjoy watching an interview with George Kalinske, the photographer for Madison Square Garden, some of the great shots he's taken in the past. 4.57 to go. Bad day here. Badney. Dave Silk. Christian drop pass goes bad from a Winnipeg standpoint and back to center zone. Winnipeg's got it again. Be interesting to see comparative times on length of possession in the opponent's end tonight. Fair leg. And Winnipeg sends one ahead. The two coming back. Winnipeg goes for a change. But he has got some skating room. And Matson made what turned out to be a difficult save on one of the easiest shots he's seen all night. 409 to go. 3-3 three, three the score. Second period. This is New York Rangers hockey.
Face off on the left side of Matson. Kasopoulos screen shot. Matson's got it. Eddie Johnstone lost it in front to Spring. Spring comes down to Dupont. Centering pass. Good play. Save. Big save by Sotart. Backhand possibility. Ponelli coming up on Don Maloney. Maloney hooked his man down. Where the backhand shot on goal, the only other alternative. Not a bad play, I guess, Bill. He didn't have much alternative on that. The Rangers starting to play loose in their own zone. There's Don Maloney on his way to the penalty box. That's Steen. A good save by Sotot. Here's where the hook comes. Good penalty for Don to take. He pulled down Wally Lindstrom. And a big opportunity, obviously, for the Winnipeg Jets. 3.46 to go in the period. A power play the last time they had a setup like this. They did not score in the power play, but they got a four on four goal to tie it at three. Number 17 is Andres Steen. Rangers win the draw. Laidlaw plays the corner. Eddie Johnstone here. See the play that he made? Instead of banging it off the boards, he backed up to get some shooting room and got it out. If he banged it off the boards, there was a chance that Winnipeg would have recovered the puck. Here's Johnstone again and plays it back. It's impossible to overemphasize the play of Johnstone at both ends of the rink this year. Here's a good example, Jim. Perfect. That little extra effort. Fans love him, as they should. A true all-star. He was on the ice and gave the assist for the shorthanded goal for the Campbell division the other night. He got one other assist. So out of four goals, Eddie was in on two of them. Some of the others may have taken that all-star game for a skate, but not Eddie. Nope. Frankly, I thought if it hadn't been for Lute, he'd have a chance to be the number one player of the game. Lute was just magnificent in goal. He's quite a goaltender. He'll be in here on Sunday. Carol Badney comes back, has the puck. Captain Barry. Badney again. And unusual for Bar for Badney. Didn't lift that one clear. It hit somebody around the photographer's cage. Jim, I think the photographer was hanging out of the cage, and that's the reason. Could well be. Nobody clears any better than Badney does in a situation like that. <laughs> 2 55 to go in the second period. Rangers and uh, Winnipeg Jets are tied at three. Free puck here. Badney's got it. The length of the ice. Matson, who has been excellent in goal with one minute in the power play, makes the stop. Christian is back with Duguay, leaves the puck on the sideboards. Lukowicz across to the right side. Center zone play. Number 10 again is Peter Sullivan. One of the reasons that Winnipeg has had trouble this year is that Peter Sullivan, one of their big scorers, had a bad season. Knicks lead uh, 70 to 57 at the half against Cleveland. Talavis. And opens it up. 25 seconds in the power play. Dugay breaking in. Gets away from Peter Sullivan. Sets up Talibus. Goal! Oh, well, the Rangers get their seventh shorthanded goal of the year. A beautiful setup by Talibus. There's Talibus. Watch him bank the puck off the boards. And it hits the linesman and slows down, but Duguay continues to go. Now watch Duguay find Talifus. But Jim, this goal was created because Badney and Beck made the plays in the back line. They kept the play going. And one, either Badney or Beck, I believe it might be Beck, will get the assist. And number three, Barry Beck. 
Number three, Barry Beck gets the assist with Ron Duguay and Dean Calabas, and the Rangers take a 4-3 lead on a short-handed goal. Shot possible here for Winnipeg. Will not be. Allison coming down. Johnstone goes to right wing and trails the play. Crisscrosses. Allison lost the puck and gets it back. Johnstone's in front. Don Maloney is back. Play is in the corner. Johnstone on the board takes it away. Eddie Johnstone looking for Allison. Allison and Don Maloney at the goal line. Don gets it, takes a heavy check. Double teamed and a frozen puck in the corner. That Maloney, while he's scoring goals, Jim, has not forgot how to work in the corners. Cavaliers 57, the Knicks 70. They just announced the Knicks score here at Madison Square Garden. Allison goes to get a new stick, I believe. I think our director's got a pipeline into Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> you just admitted. Face off will be on the left side of Matchin. 40 shots on net against 15 for Winnipeg. I often wonder, Jim, how our directors are so smart. I never wondered. <laughs> oh, are you cozy? Buck goes across to the right side of Matson. <laughs> Barry Long's got the puck. Center zone. Pass Greshner. Somebody's down on the ice and hurt as he tried to get by Greshner. Is that LeCure? I think it's Doug LeCure as he tried to go around Greshner. His leg buckled on him. With a tangle of legs on the play. Watch it. I believe it is LeCure, Jim. Here he's coming up. Now watch Greshner. He loses the puck. Oh, knee. Greshner's knee collided with his left knee. That could be John Markell. Did it? Could be Markell. You see the, the knees come together? Lateral motion on that left knee. He's only a rookie. There is one of the clearest illustrations of where the knees get hurt in hockey. Jim, I can't remember so many knees injuries as there are lately in all sports over the last 10 years. In football, the turf has had a lot to do with it. The artificial turf, they anchor the, the feet or anchor it more firmly against the ground. They don't give when they get hit. I don't know what's happening. I don't in know ice what hockey. the reason is in hockey. They have it they is have, liqueur. It is liqueur. It is liqueur. They have better equipment than they did years ago. Liqueur coming out. It might be the speed of the game, too, Jim. They skate a lot faster today than they did 10 years ago. Oh, he's angry. He knows he's hurt. They have protective braces for players after the knee gets hurt. The rotational brace uh, pioneered uh, by Lenox Hill Hospital in New York. And Jim, some of the smarter players are wearing him prior to getting hurt, too, or to guard from getting hurt. And if Bobby Orr would have worn them, we'd still be watching the greatest hockey player that ever skated. Dr. Jim Nicholas in that Lenox Hill brace shop developed that, that brace. It's a little clumsy, but boy, if it protects against that kind of an injury, it's important. That may. You need to get caught on that one. Yep. 58 seconds to go in the period. Score is 4-3 Rangers. Batnay. Babich to the blue line and across. There should be an icing call with time remaining, 38 seconds. Beck touches it down with 37 on the clock. And, of course, the faceoff will be brought back into Winnipeg zone. 40 shots on net now for the Rangers and 15 for the Jets. Well, the Jets have come up with six shots in this period. 18 Rangers. I hope you'd say that, Jim. I didn't have that many fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Jets had the puck after the faceoff on the left side. Lukowicz, number 12. High shot stopped on an offside. 26 seconds to go in the period. The Rangers are still playing without the services of Wallachuk, who was injured over the right eye. 
He's a tough man to replace, but Gary Burns is doing a good job, James. Yep. Jerry Gill is still out with a knee. Second time he injured that this year. Headman pass by Nilsson for Vickers. Vickers double team. Nilsson takes it away. Here's Hedberg. Hedberg gets it back, but the pass is slowed down by a stick check. Eight seconds to go in the period of three on two. And they foul it up at center zone. Look which lost the puck. Here's a shot. High. And the period ends. Lukowicz with a good opportunity on a three and two just couldn't quite keep the puck under control. And with the Rangers picking up 18 shots on goal in the second period, the Winnipeg Jets have picked up six for a two period total of 40 and 15. Rangers scoring in the second period. Dean Talavis is 17 59 and a remarkable assist by Ron Duguay. The play started, as Bill pointed out, in the back ice by Barry Beck and Carol uh, Vadnape. Christian also got one for the Winnipeg Jets. So it was an even trade off, but the Rangers again take a one goal lead into the next period of hockey. George Kalinsky coming up. I think you'll enjoy it at the end of the second period of the score. Rangers four, Jets three. This is New York Rangers hockey. The Islanders trying to hang on first place overall. St. Louis creeping up on top of them. No score in Philadelphia. Two to nothing, Washington over Buffalo. St. Louis, two to nothing over Montreal. They have played two less games than the Islanders, and they could go out in front if they win and the Islanders lose. And Toronto coming alive. Three to nothing over Minnesota. That's in the first period. And the Rangers play Toronto Saturday night. Los Angeles 2-2 with Chicago. We are back and playing in the third period at Madison Square Garden. Jim Gordon and Bill Chadwick. The puck in the corner for a spring in his own end. And he had man's left side of Markell. They have a three on two. There's a big part. This is Markell on the right side now. Markell drops it off on the right side. Out in front by Luke Wish. Blocked by the Rangers. And is taken over by Don Maloney. Eddie Johnstone. Leading scorer on the Rangers. Goes in. Johnstone in the corner at behind the goal line. Good pass back for Greshner. Shot deflected in front. Free puck. Don Maloney goes after it. Cannot get it under control. Lukowicz across. Very long. Long shot. Save. Almost caught net. So Todd didn't act like he was ready for that one, Jim. Dave Maloney. Davey sends one high. Vickers. Again on right wing. They're doing a lot of that with Vickers. Badney back in time. First two periods. Shots on. Beck. Good pass to Vickers from Nielsen. Vickers makes it five to three, getting set up beautifully by Old Nielsen. It's goal number 14 for Steve. There's Hedberg. And here's the goal. He shoots it by the left side. He caught the goaltender Matson. He made his only mistake, Jim. He caught him moving the wrong way. He went to the long side of Matson. Badney also comes up with an assist. That's three assists for Carroll tonight. He waited so long to get his 400th. Now he's getting an avalanche of assists. It is 5-3 Rangers. This is Barry Leg, number six. He'll take him any way he gets him. You bet. Avalanche or not. Along the side boards into center zone. They try to head man and almost did have Anders Hedberg there. Pass back by Willie Lindstrom and uh, now right side to leg again. In the center zone and the puck is sent in deep by Anders Steen. Anders Hedberg comes back. Badney. Hedberg. Good stick check. Knocked it off Hedberg. That's the uh, leg or long. Barry Leg. Hedberg. Set up by Nielsen. Save. He'll hold. Now he held long enough for a whistle. 17 quarter to go. Third period. Score 5 3 Rangers. This is New York Ranger hockey. Face off on the left side of a fine goaltender named Marcus Matson. Screen shot. Katsopoulos. Save. He had the angle for it. 
Duguay throws his weight heavily into Rick Bonus. This is Christian coming out. Mr. Christian across the red line. Saved by Sotar. That was a tough shot. That dropped on him. Talavis. Duguay. Poke right back to center zone. Laidlaw put it a little bit too far in front of him. That young man is glad to be back. Talavis mishandled the puck a bit. Dudley goes after. Talavis takes it back. Duguay. Talavis after the puck again. See, Talavis has had a pretty hot hand here over the last couple of weeks. Talavis throws his body and makes it pop loose, and Duguay's got it. There's what a body check can do. Shot. Save. Greshner puts it in deep. Out in front for Duguay. Dave Maloney's got a shot and will take it. Save. He'll hold. 16-22 to go. Third period. Score 5-3 Rangers. This is New York Ranger hockey. and nine assists in the last eight games he has nine points with six goals and three assists face off to the right side of Matson, and he makes the stop off the face off shots on goal of 45 17 Rangers almost a three to one ratio spring tries to get it out to his wing he gets it to the wing and set up by Tripper to center zone cross ice pass Patiu and leg go for it that's a draw Greshner. Dave Maloney. Nilsson. Greshner. He gets it in beautifully protecting the puck in front. Saved by Matson again. Patu to Silk. Chopped away from Davy Silk. Patu rams his man to the boards. In front it's Nilsson. Good pass. One pass too many. Now in front. Score! Dave Silk. Nilsson finally found Silk directly in front. Matson is deserted by his teammates again. The Rangers passed two or three times and got themselves trapped behind the net, but from the trap, Nilsson forked one right in front. Checked by Patiu. Now watch Silk and Nilsson. Here's the pass I thought was one too many. Nilsson behind the goal line, but Silk gets in front. And in she goes. Jim, the Rangers need play like that from a guy like Alf Nielsen. The Rangers goal is won by number 16, Dave Silk. Dave Silk picks up the goal. It is now 6-3. to three. Barry Beck, long shot from the red line. The score has finally begun to match the play. Jim, I spoke to Jerry Gillis. That's where I was when that goal was scored. Talking to Jerry Gillis up here about what adjustments have to be made with a right-handed goaltender. There are so few in the league. As soon as we get a chance, we'll talk about Good it. Good idea. Free puck. Don Maloney poked away from him. Jets drop it off again. Coming in left side. Shot. Save. It's offside coming in and away. And look out. There's a little bit of a problem. Beck took exception to that late shot. That was Markell coming in. The whistle had blown and he took the shot anyway, and they don't like it. Goaltenders have a tendency to straighten up and relax after the whistle. I asked Jerry Gillis, is there any conversation or does the coach talk about a goaltender being right-handed or left-handed? And his answer was affirmative. They do talk about it prior to the game. But it's still tough to get accustomed to. And yes, this fella, Matson, while he's a right-handed goaltender and uses his right hand as the catching hand, Jim, if you'll notice, Half the time when he's playing, he reaches across his body. He uses his hands all the time. So to beat a goaltender like this, you've got to keep the puck 
down or very high. You cannot shoot toward the center of the net. Good point, Bill. Where he reaches across. Here's Nelson breaking in. Markell lowered by a check by Vickers. Long comes out. Christian has to loop. Rangers continue to keep the pressure on. Shot toward the net. Saved by Sotart. Free puck cleared off the back by Kasopoulos. It's still up for grabs. Christian's got it. Christian has an angle. Sends one across. And it just missed his man. Christian after it again. There's Lindstrom. Kasopoulos beats them both to it. Rangers don't get it out, though. Nielsen using his body a lot more tonight. Nielsen's got the puck. Paid off for Opie. He's got to assist. Vickers coming down. This is Nelson. Run hard into the boards. And back to center zone. Drop pass right side. He's got a shot. Save. Norman DuPont. Hedberg up to Vickers. Right back to Hedberg. Andrews looking for a wing. Rangers are trying to get a full change. Duguay is on the ice. Here he is. No icing, Jim. No icing. Waved off. Duguay's hustle makes a difference. Good play by Steen in front. Score! Oh, what a fine play by Steen when the Ranger defense couldn't contain him behind the goal line. He just kept using his left arm, warding off the players as they came up against him. Steen throws it out to DuPont, and DuPont got the goal. DuPont was a first-round draft choice for the Montreal Canadiens. Never did get a chance to play. Acquired by Winnipeg. There he is wearing 28, but the play was made by Steen. So Todd never had a chance. Excellent play by Steen. His 20th goal of the season for DuPont. And the score gets tied again. 6-4 with 12.57 to go. Pass to the left side now, so Tart. Play is in the Rangers' end. Another backhand attempt goes wide. Rangers are unable to pick up Winnipeg currently. Jim, Winnipeg's been on the road now for three games, and this is the 25th goal scored against them in the three games. Oh. Dion has just joined this uh, team as a goaltender. I wonder if he knew what he's getting himself into. Number 10 is Peter Sullivan. Surprising how loyal the fans are in Winnipeg. They know it's a building team. Petit was tripped in front. Free puck post. Dave Silk thought it was in. It wasn't in, Dave. Meantime, Petit had been tripped and put down in front. Free puck in front. Somebody's going to pay for that before the night is over. Barry Lake sends one ahead. The length of the ice. Beck will get after it. There will be no icing call here. Beck. He's going to go in. Davy Silk just overskates it. The T was protecting on Beck's side. Markell, great shot. Why? Not on net, but boy, does he have a cannonball. If it was on net, they were in trouble. Shot goes wide. The T protecting the puck. Late law. Nicky again. Sent ahead, wide left side. Morris Lukowicz, number 12 for the puck. 47 shots on net for the Rangers. Six have gone in. Rangers had the puck again. Allison. Allison's got an angle. Save! 10.56 to go in the game. 6-4 Rangers. This is New York Rangers hockey. Here 
Here's a play by Silk. He could have had his 14th goal of the season in the second of this game. Just hooked it a little bit too much. It's got puck's got to be completely across the line. Laidlaw keeps it in play for the Rangers. Winnipeg Jets within two of the Rangers now with 10.49 to go in the hockey game. They have proven they can score. They can't keep it out of their own end very much. So this game's got a little while to go. There's an offside call. Offside. With 10.41 to go in this hockey game. As Lindstrom, he played with Winnipeg when they were in the World Hockey Association. The National Antique Hello. Show, excuse me, Bill, is showing the garden here. I just want to tell you about a terrible thing that happens when you go to an antique show. I stopped I'm down there. I'm not going to any antique show. They'll ever <laughs> keep me there. <laughs> I stopped down there today, and the shock of recognition, some of the things I used to possess and play with are now antiques. <laughs> it's a great show at the garden. Don Maloney. Allison. Allison, save, rebound, score! Don Maloney, Eddie Johnstone. Eddie Johnstone comes up with a second goal of the game, and is he ever there when the opportunity strikes? Allison made a good play in the line of Eddie Johnstone, Don Maloney, and Allison continue to fly. The people's choice. Here's Allison coming out of his own zone, throws it up. Don Maloney gets it back to Allison. Allison goes in. He tries to make the play himself. The save is made by Matson. And the puck is out and just with hustle. Eddie Johnson bats it in. It is now seven to four. Two Rich goals and two assists. 17, Eddie Johnstone. All assists at number 14, Mike Allison. And number 12, Don Maloney. Here they come again, and the shot goes off a stick and into the crowd. Don Maloney also came up with an assist along with Allison, and Eddie Johnson got his 22nd goal of the season. Allison has three assists. Nielsen has two assists. Badney has three assists. Eddie Johnson has two goals and two assists. Coming out now, number 10, Peter Sullivan. And Sotar takes a stroll. Greshner. Hedberg trying to clear and cannot. Going to be a shot possible. He's got it wide of the net. Dave Maloney. Dave's skating very well tonight, Bill. Seems quick. Check on Nielsen coming in. 9.37 to go in the game. Shots. Rangers 50. Jets 21. The Rangers' best night this year on shots on goal has been 52. Sullivan again with the puck. Drops it off. This is Tripper, number 14. And a frozen puck in the Rangers' end. And they came up at the short end with 50 shots. That was that night in that nightmare in Colorado. I mean, but we've seen three or four games like this, maybe five this year, and the Rangers have not had the best of any one of them. I mean, they might have won one or two, but they really had a sweat for it. There's no blowouts. And play goes back to center zone and across. Babbage coming down in a hurry. Good hustling play. Takes the puck away by Burns. Tanavis to Beck. Beck. Save. Oh. Matson is just incredible tonight. Nice play at the blue line by Badney. He's got Talibus. Talibus to Beck. Beautiful play by Badney. Duguay's in front, causing turmoil. Shot wide off the glass. And back to center zone. Crespinari coming in, number 19 in the corner. 99 on the far side coming in is Dudley. Right out in front. Burns is draped over the boards. And Burns is quick, Jim. And strong. He's going for the bench now. Petit is back on the ice. Look at which shot wide. Pretty good angle. Here comes Petit. Nice control. And the Jets send it up into the crowd. 8.01 to go. Score seven for Rangers. This is New York Rangers hockey.
Bill Sullivan. Sutherland, the coach of the Winnipeg. Gatsopoulos shot into the corner. Takes a strange bounce off the gate there. Jim, Jerry Maloney is in, is working on Dugay. Something the matter with his leg on the Ranger bench. They were working him over very hard in the crease. Not sure is that or equipment. Free puck Rangers and picked up by the Rangers. Katsopoulos. To you. Katsopoulos. Katsopoulos. Save. Matching. That almost caught net. There's that right hand we were talking about before. Ordinarily you shoot high on the stick side and ordinarily that would be the stick side. He shot high and there was the hand. Kostopoulos out for a few games with the infected hand. He was like a raging bull being not being able to play. Raging bull. That'd be a good title for a movie or something. <laughs> Face off on the left side of Matson. Rangers have a good game for you Sunday night. I hope you're with us. St. Louis. Nick Patillo is skating. I think it's his skate, though, Jim. I don't think it's his leg. The dog show. Free puck at the Winnipeg Jets end. Maloney. David to Don. Jets are in. Shot. Wide rebound. Save. Rangers will break two on two. Six fifty seven to go. Bill Chadwick at supper tonight had an extra hot pepper in honor of the fact we're talking to fans down in Mexico tonight from Mexico to Hawaii to Alaska. Hello Mexico. Awful glad you're with us. Shot toward the goal save and so Tart will hold. Lindstrom was back down at center zone. He's all right. At the end of the third period, the Bill, you can use a couple of gallons of crude oil, couldn't you? Maybe the people down in Mexico would help you. <laughs> Six minutes and 31 seconds to go. The Rangers have finally opened it up to seven to four. Have 52 shots on net. The Jets have 24. Rangers have tied their record for shots on goal for this season. Undoubtedly, they'll break it. Beck. Meant for Vickers. He can't quite reach it. The inter center zone. Markel goes in with a high stick, and Hedberg gets one up on the side. Intercepted, though. Leg lost it to Beck's check. Leg's got it again. Screenshot is wide. Sotar could have been had on that one. He couldn't see. Jim Winnipeg has had a few good chances in this period. Pass across. Too far. Rangers cannot get to it in time. Five forty eight to go in the game. Lays it off on the right side. Markell across. Good pass by Trimper in front comes through. Markell goes for it. Nielsen goes for him. Markell's got the puck in front. And just missed out in front. Chris Maneri had a pretty good opportunity at that one. Markell is planted in front but can't find the puck. Rangers have trouble clearing here for the first time tonight and finally do. Nilsson and Vickers again. Vickers has swapped sides with Hedberg. They've been doing this a lot. Shot toward the goal. Deflected in front. Jim, that's the European style of play also. The flopping the wings coming down. Right. Christian. Years ago, Lester Patrick had a line of Shabiki and the two Cobles. They did that all the time. Headman pass here and just in front of him. Gary's got it now behind the goal line. High in the air. And we'll talk about a fast right hand. He pulled that one out of the air. 4.54 to go. Third period score. Seven for Rangers. This is New York Rangers hockey.
face off on the left side of Matson. Dugay apparently is okay. It's right into crease and just wide at the rebound by Burns. Dugay goes out to spring, contained by the Jets. That's Babbage 44. In the Rangers' hand. Tommy Laidlaw. St. Louis comes to town Sunday night. Meantime, the Rangers are in Toronto Saturday night. Lukovic sends one, uh, takes one back from Sullivan. The shot is deflected. Score in front. A lot of backhander on a deflection in front. Lukovic and Babich. And I think Christian got the goal. At the way he turns around, looks like Christian. Dave Christian. That makes it 7-5 with a lot of time to play. Rangers had the puck. Laidlaw. Talibus on the side. Katsopoulos lost his stick. Dugay. Pass it a little too soft. Dugay trying to get back. There's nobody else back there. Christian's got a shot. Boom! How about this now? The Rangers lose the puck. They're all deep. Dugay making a vain effort to get back. Christian with great puck sense here. Gets around Dugay, holds it and holds it and holds it. And now on the backhand, fires a screenshot by Sotar. And it's suddenly 7-6. to six. That's an unassisted goal on the Ranger giveaway. Here comes Patiu. Look out. In front, knocked aside by Matson. Dave Maloney sends it deep. Patiu in the corner. Toss it up to Spring. Greshner goes deep to keep it in play. Spring takes a body check. Patillo's got the puck. He gets it loose. In front, through Matson and wide. Rangers have possession again. Dave Maloney shot. Deflected by Patillo and wide. And back to center zone. Fake the shot by Lukowicz. Knocked aside by Dave Maloney. 2.57 to go. <laughs> what a hockey game. Greshner could not get in all the way. He's trapped. One man back is Beck. And Beck does the job with the body on Willie Lindstrom. Hit the referee. Shot toward the net. Bounce it in front. High stick call. 2.37 to go in the game. The faceoff in the Rangers end. The Rangers leading by a single goal. And they haven't had that shot on net we've been anticipating for about five minutes. Oh, wow. 52 shots on goal for the Rangers. Now 26 for Winnipeg, a most respectable total. Free puck, Rangers end. Rangers have it. Don Maloney. John Stone looking for the hat trick, and Don Maloney trying to set him up. Taken away by the Jets. They got a pretty good shot here. In front, deflected, Rangers. Don Maloney with Allison. Allison shot, blocked in front. Jets come out. Rangers are leaving their defenseman back now. 2.04 to go. 26 shots on by the Jets, and six have gone in. Barry Beck. Beck goes all the way against Babbage. Beck keeps it under control beautifully. Allison's in front. Shot is blocked. Rebound. Beck. Oh, what a job Beck has done here. Johnstone shot. Save or post. Lukowicz breaking. 
Bad day comes back on him. Taken away by the Rangers. Johnstone for Don Maloney. Penalty, no. No penalty call. 117 to go in the game. Seven to six Rangers. Late long. Barry Long is back. What a wild one this is. Nielsen in front, blocked. Long did the blocking. Nielsen again. This is Hedberg. 58 seconds to go in the game. Hedberg pins his man. And the clock stops with 55. I think the Rangers are awfully glad to hear about that final minute of the game. They finally had the extra shot on goal. 53 now. That's the best they've done this year. Rangers went into the second period leading by a score of 3-2. Winnipeg cut that down to 3-3, tied it up. Rangers broke it. There's a timeout been called here. Then Talavis gave the Rangers the one goal lead again going into the second period. Rangers opened up quickly with two goals to give the Rangers a three goal lead. DuPont got one back and Johnstone scored. Then Christian with two goals and once again it's a one goal lead. The game has been a total Ranger blowout with the exception of the last six minutes of this period or four minutes of this period and yet the Rangers have never been able to get any breathing room. They are down. They are leading by just a single goal with 55 seconds to go. You know Winnipeg is going to pull the goaltender. Bill Chadwick Always goes downstairs for the star of the game, and he insists that every time he leaves here, they score. I think for the Rangers' peace of mind, he'd better start leaving later in the game. After he left tonight, they scored three goals. All right, faceoff is in the Winnipeg end, and surprising, well, Matson, they won't take him out with the faceoff in his end. Fifty five seconds. Nilsson on the draw. Vickers is in a slot. Hedberg to the right. Dave Maloney is playing back on defense. Right side of Laidlaw. Who sends it in deep. Time running down. Vickers in front. Shot missed by Nilsson. And here comes Winnipeg with a chance to tie it up. Matson goes for the goal and is broken away by Dave Maloney. Open net. Dave Maloney's got an open net. Sends one down. Stop. So a gallant comeback by Winnipeg. Goals are gleaming as Dave Maloney picks it up and takes a chance. Coming down the right side. Shooting from behind the red line. If he misses, it's back in his end. With 37 seconds on the clock, but... Man, he cut that right in the middle. Woo! Dead center. Range goes to number 26. Eight six the score. Nelson shot. Saved by Matson. That's goal number nine at 19.23. 24 seconds to go in the hockey game. Sullivan. Dave Maloney didn't take the deke. Stayed with it. Hope you're with us Saturday night from Toronto and certainly against St. Louis Sunday night. Great hockey team looking to push the Islanders out of first place. That'll take some doing. The Islanders playing pretty good too. A little soft spot in the last couple of weeks. But they are there. 8-6 the final score. As the game ends, Rangers with 55 shots on net. Jets had 26 shots on net. And it might not have been an artistic success, but in the record book, in the win column, it's Rangers, and the loss column, the Winnipeg Jets. And I guess, really, in the end, you will settle for that if you're a hometown or New York Ranger fan. It was a wild third period. After the Rangers had totally dominated this game from the opening whistle until just about maybe six minutes from the end of the game, maybe even a little bit less. And all of a sudden, Winnipeg came on and came on exceedingly strong. So, the final score is Rangers 8, Winnipeg 6. Back with more after this message. Winnipeg, Dave Christian with his hat trick. What? 